Hey guys, welcome back to another five minutes or less. <laughs> oh my goodness. This episode is going to be a little bit interesting because, oh my gosh, I've never been really into vampires that much. But when you have it in a fun plot like this, it just makes it fun. <laughs> okay, so today's, today's video topic is The Last Bloodline, which is a recent new webtoon that focuses on a young girl well young college girl named uh, wait what's her name <laughs> Mallory Mallory and how she comes to inherit a old house from her uncle who is related to an ancient vampire of well the vampires now this is a webtoon created by Wio Wong and so the problem is there's five clans that are after the queen of the vampires they're trying to get they're trying to get to her before anyone else does which is mallory mallory is the queen of the vampires which i gotta say this is definitely a different take on vampires altogether there's a lot of different things i didn't expect like for one example i was expecting like like um the vampires to all be you know like vampire and sparkly and shit like that's more of why vampire stories tend to have to focus on like um different topics and just like twilight related bullcrap i'm still not over that series i'm still not over it but there it's just ridiculous but this takes a step further to focus on a character named Mallory, who is Queen of the Vampires. She is orphaned at a young age, and she doesn't really know who her family is exactly, but after getting a letter from someone about her uncle's death, she inherited a mansion in New York City. And now she must figure out who is telling the truth with, like, new companions who come from different clans around the world. Because there's different vampires for different countries, which is a pretty interesting twist. Let me just admit that because there is different versions of vampires around the world. There's like some crazy shit that I've heard. I forgot what it was, but it does it does take a spin on doing something entirely different by having different, you know, groups of vampires with different like, you know, abilities and transformations like, oh, one clan can transform into vampires others can transform into fly fireflies others into cats and even frogs like that is very interesting so mallory is kind of lost on the whole subject but also sold on being the queen of the vampires she doesn't see anything wrong even though she does make a theseus to figure out whether or not <sighs> if this is bad and there's a lot more cons than there is pros and she's just like you know what whatever it's it's gonna be fun being queen of the vampires and i think that's the problem right there that this is gonna be like um that she's gonna be one of those people who thinks it's all fun and games until later on which could definitely work out in her favor like um in the writer's favor it could work out in their favor because there is a lot of, you know, spoiled or, you know, careless characters, like main characters that do have potential to be good ones. So that holds me interested because I do like seeing careless characters in stories like this. But yeah, do I think it's going to be a good one? I'll have to wait and see. But it does show a lot of promise for those who might be interested in fantasy based stories center centered around someone who is is clueless and careless as she can be and i think that's the fun scenario here it's like she doesn't really care that she's queen of the vampires yeah it seems cool and such so yeah that's that's what i have so far on my thoughts anyways this is the end of five minutes or less please stay safe stay cool or warm wherever you live and stay hydrated this is dazzling kate signing the hell out of here